Hey, you know what? The Avatar, you know, the one with mastery of all four elements? Today on Screen Rant, we're taking a look at his family tree. Not much is known about Aang's lineage. His parents, for example, are completely unknown. We can postulate that they were airbenders, since air nomads are born with airbending abilities. Presumably, his mother lived in the Eastern or Western Air Temple, while his father was most likely from the Northern Air Temple. Either way, we know that as a baby, he was separated from his parents so that he could focus completely on becoming a powerful airbender. That war may be upon us, young Avatar. We need you, Aang. The closest thing Aang had to a father figure that we know of is Master Gyatso, who mentored Aang during his childhood. Gyatso's attachment to the boy became a hindrance to the Council of Elders, who separated the two after Gyatso came out against accelerating Aang's training regimen. This was the event that led to Aang running away from the Southern Air Temple and winding up frozen in an iceberg for 100 years. Later, teenage sweethearts Aang and Katara have a happy and fruitful marriage, which results in their children, Tenzin, Bomi, and Kia, the latter of whom was named after Katara's mother. Bomi was named after the talented earthbender and king of Omashu, whom Aang was friends with. There was a lot of pressure on Tenzin as leader of the Air Nation, as he was the only airbender born in over a century. He was a skilled airbender, but it took him a lot longer than his father to learn the ways of the air nomads. Nonetheless, he eventually became a master airbender, and with Aang's passing, the last airbender, he would also train the next avatar, Korra. He said, my destiny is in Republic City. Don't bring my mother into this. Tenzin wouldn't be the last airbender for long, however. With his wife Pema, he would have four children, Jinora, Iki, Milo, and later Rowan. Tenzin would later rebuild the Air Nation after the Harmonic Convergence, which resulted in the emergence of airbenders all around the world. This proliferation of airbenders would include Tenzin's brother Bomi, who up to that point had not shown any such skill. I told you, much in the way Tenzin inherited Aang's skills, so too did Jinora inherit Tenzin's, resulting in her becoming a master airbender. With these powers and her grandfather's spiritual connection inherent in her, at just 10 years old, Jinora would be key not only to Chorus Avatar training, but to the re-emergence of the Air Nation. And with that, we come full circle from the last airbender Aang to Jinora and the new generation of airbenders. With new content coming out all the time, including a new show scheduled for 2025, whose family tree do you want to see explored? Thanks for watching Movie Recap Pro, and stay tuned for more movie news.